started out with um, a pretty clear idea that because we're including red clover and alfalfa in the rotation sequences and because we're returning manure back to the system that uh, quantities of synthetic fertilizers we'd have to add based on soil test results would be less than in the two-year system where we're managing it exclusively with mineral fertilizers. And that's been true over the last 12 or more years. We've been able to reduce our synthetic nitrogen applications about 90 percent. <coughs> the, the clover alfalfa that we plant with the small grain is one of the key things that we use for the fertility for corn. Um, I'm not sure how much uh, you get per acre from just the, the first year, but it, I would think it'd be 50 to 60 pounds of nitrogen per acre. And then of course, if you can leave the alfalfa or the clover for a following year, then you get up in the 150 pound area. And there's a couple old Iowa State publications that show no benefit to fertilizing corn after that hay year. So it definitely is part of our fertility program. So energy use goes down considerably where you grow um, oats and alfalfa and clover in rotation with corn and soybean because the large energy consumers in our conventional Iowa ag system are fertilizers, mineral fertilizers. Um, the gas to dry corn grain, and if you're doing um, some form of conventional tillage like chisel plowing, uh, the fuel consumed in um, tractor operations. So where you move towards perennial crops where you're not tilling the ground and where you're um, using much less nitrogen fertilizer and where you're growing corn less frequently and having to dry it fewer years, uh, you save a lot of energy. In our case, we save um, 50 to 60 percent of the fossil energy embodied in um, natural gas, tractor fuel, and fertilizer when we move towards the more diverse rotations.